Hey guys, what's going on? Back again with another review. Today we've got a special beer. Well, I say special, but it should just be really, really tasty. It's uh, Monkish Brewing. It's their rinse and riffs. I don't know if you can see it with the way the light is. Um, but yeah, this is, um, it, it, well, everything that I've had from Monkish has been amazing. Um, this one I got in a beer trade with my friend Robert, and the date on this is September 6th, no, uh, let's see. 9-6. So September 6th, uh, 2019. It's now November 20th. Um, so, you know, it's a little over two months old. I have been told with monkish beers it's good to um, sit on them for a little while. You know, that they can be pretty green um, when they're fresh or um, they have that hop astringency. So, um, hopefully, you know, this one being a little bit old um, will do it some, you know, do it some good. So, um, Anyway, this is, yeah, like I said, it's Rinse and Riffs. This is the double dry hop version of Bathe and Baselines. So another one of their beers. Um, it says overloaded with Galaxy and Citra hops. Um, so yeah, um, we'll get this in the glass here. And turn this down so nothing happens on there. Um, <clears throat> see what this is all about. I've been really looking forward to this beer. Every time I open the fridge, I want to drink it. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. So, oh, by the way, this is my Joe's Arcade glass. And if you don't know Joe, you must be living under a rock. Probably my favorite, uh, you know, beer, or YouTube beer review guy. So, and then on the back it's got the little, it's a little green, it's still a little green message on there so anyway yeah um, soap sudsy you know half a finger of head dissipating pretty quickly it looks like orange juice it is completely cloudy I cannot see light through the glass it looks beautiful let's shove our fat noses in here Oh yeah, it's got a, um, a very prominent juiciness to it, which is, it's obviously citrus fruit with the citra hops being in there. Um, some, maybe some passion fruit, a lot of earthiness to it. There's an underlying dankness there. It smells creamy. If I don't even know if that makes sense, but it just smells like it's gonna have a creaminess to it. it smells really damn good. Let's give it a taste. Oh yeah, it's soft. Um, it is creamy, indeed. It is creamy, um, and then. It doesn't pop as much on the palate uh, as it does on the aroma. Um, that's not to say that it's not tasty. It's really good. Most beers would, would love to be on this level. Um, that tropical fruit, it drives through. Slight bitterness to it. It does have that dankness. It's there still on the palate. Um, medium plus mouthfeel. Maybe medium to full mouthfeel. Um, and then... It lingers, man. It, it really does. It, it, it hangs around. Um, that hot character, it, is still so, it has some greenness to it. And when I say green, I mean like a, um, you know, like a vegetal bite to it. Um, and I'm saying that in the least negative way that I can. Um, sometimes, you know, some beers can be overly green, um, and it's a little off-putting. Um, this one, I think, has done a really good job um, staying in the can for a couple months. That's really solid, man. Can't go wrong with Monkish. 
Um, I've had probably four or five of their beers, and every one of them is just world class. This is no different. Um, so, I love it. It's great. Um, if I had to give it a rating, I would sit around 433. It's, it's right between that 425 and that 5 mark. It's not quite to the 5, or the 4 5, sorry. It's not quite there. Um, I think that the, the flavors have, have fallen off a little more than I had hoped. Um, but it's still huge. It's still a huge juice bomb of a beer. It's, it's awesome stuff. I would definitely recommend you picking this up if you haven't had it. I don't know how often they do it. Um, or if it's a regular release or what. So um, if you live out there, you're very fortunate. Um, I would be getting this stuff as much as I possibly could if I lived out there. So anyway, yeah, 433 for me. Um, you know, like I said in the other videos, if you have other beers that you want me to review, just let me know and um, we'll try to get to it. So um, until next time, cheers.